of the day in the W League Super League is Focus versus Law Lion. And uh, for a little what happened so far, on Friday we saw the very first play day of the Super League and Lynn advancing from that first day with 5 points, Infi 4 points, Fly 3 points and our boy Foggy got beaten pretty hard, 0 points on his side. So today it's time for 4 new players to step up, it's a Korean like an eternal battle between Focus and Law Lion. Afterwards, we have... Why is this not updated? I did that before. There we go. TH versus WFZ, one of the best human versus undeads in the world. WFZ versus Focus and Law Lion versus TH to close the day after... Not really close the day, closing the W League. And then we go into Rust Brain Cup. Your two players for today, for the first match of the day, are these two guys, both from South Korea, both, uh, yeah, seemingly friends, sometimes uh, uh, very hard foes. Well, uh, it is pretty good against Org, about 50%, but Focus is a beast, man. He is certainly the favorite when those two clash, but... Lolliot is in great shape. Can he bring it to the table today, or is it online Focus again? One of the best players, Hopefully as long as the attack. tournament is not on LAN. That's the introduction here! Of course, the system is as always. If you win your best of 3 2 0, oh, then you claim 3 points. If you win your best of 3 2 1, you get 2 points. If you lose the best of 3, it's 1 point, uh, 1 to 2, it's 1 point for you. And if you lose 0 2, then of course, it's 0 points for you. The winner of this best of 3 gets 40 bucks as well. So let's dive right in with Law Lion versus Focus. We have our first subs here today. Thank you very much. Attack. Minimum CJ, Topo Chan class. Finnegan88, hope you're awake. <laughs> and Nebu HSV has a two year subversary. Thank you very much for 24 months of Back to Warcraft subscriptions. With that being said, welcome to Turtle Rock. This is uh, still patch 1.29. We will see patch 1.3 later today. And we do have a Blade Master already in Law Lion's base, which is not walled off here on Turtle Rock. And the Wisps are already yeah, in trouble, at least a little bit. Moon Juice has been used. Quite a fast attack from Law Lion as well. And now the Blade Master. Leaving already. Sold his town portal, got a circlet, got a dust, so Blade the archers can't hide in Shadow Melt once it's nighttime. It's not that far away, but. With dust, of course, not a biggie. We see the first backstab and the first blood for Focus and Lolliot. Under heavy pressure, we see this more and more often now from Orcs that they are right in the Night Elf's face, trying to cancel the Moon Worlds. Nice block by Lolliot, but guess what? On the other side, there's a Grunt, and he slaughters the second Archer. That's 270 gold and 20 lumber already gone from Lolliot, and he's gonna kill the Moon Worlds. And that's important at the moment because. You really want the moon wells to be finished at night time. You really want them to regen the mana for more healing and more mana regen on your hero, of course. So with that usage of moon juice in the early game and the cancer on the third moon well, you shouldn't mana burn too much because uh, replenishing mana is very costly when it comes to moon juice. Focus untouched so far. More grunts. Blade Master has a decent level for not creeping at all. And yeah, Turtle Rock, of course, attack. you have so many spots to take later on if your opponent grants you that time. Lolite, what are you going to do now? Heavy losses in the early. A good start into this league is uh, psychologically, of course, pretty great if you end up in the top half of the players. He expects Focus to be here and creeping this uh, to get the items because that's one specialty of Focus. Creeping super efficient, oftentimes only taking out one creep and get the item that it drops and then leave the spot again for uh, minimum XP but maximum inventory. Nice Shadow Melt here but cooldown on the dust is gone and so this is the third Archer dead. He's trying to evacuate her but oh no, she's gonna meet her two friends in the graveyard. And focus as well, creeping the remainder of this spot, getting closer to his level 2 critical strike. Put Gloves of Haste, already nice. Tier 3 tech immediately a player's forces are after reaching tier 2. Without wins, without a second hero. Lolliot, a player that plays this matchup very passively. Not really going for the signature foggy tier 2 aggression. Or oh, level up saves him there. Um, 
Not going for the tier 2 aggression, but focusing heavily on his heroes. So getting that master training for the talents early seems to be his prior. And focus. On the other side, can erect his beast re and the lodge without any problems. TC second, of course, as it always is on Turtle Rock. Because there's so much to creep and such a high chance for a level 5 TC, which is just wreaking havoc in a talent line. Second circlet and... Here it is still possible to creep the Magi. We won't see that later in 1.30, most likely. Can't see the item on the ground here. Oh, he has no mana. He has to staff out. Focus! You're in trouble, mate! 9 HP and the item on the ground. It's a claw plus 9. Oh my god. If this gets scouted, man. But okay. He got it. He got the experience. TC is out. Beastmaster second for Lol I Get the top of the chat. See what you're writing about this. Thank you, Jack Owned, for the 16 month resub. Lawlight getting the Ring of Region here and the Ward. Ward is on Focus's side here on the right, which is the more important Ward, of course, as it spawns between the two bases. Claws of Attack now in the inventory. Lawlight far away from level 3. He, of course, has to split his experience now with the Beastmaster, which. Uh, Delays is level 3. TC creeps alone. Late Master's trying to find the Night Elf. Scouts quite a few spots, but doesn't find it. So good evasion creeping by Law Light at this point. And uh, he saves the talents in his base. So they can't be intercepted by TC and Ensnare. Speaking of TC, he gets found. Good damage from the Demon Hunter here, who's very, very tanky. Nice item with the Claw plus 6. And this TC is in trouble. He might have uh, the aura to run away, but man, did he take a beating. He does have five additional heal selves to heal him up again, but of course they can be cancelled, especially with Quill Beasts from the Beastmaster following him. Can he get a revenge here? The Demon Hunter is low, thanks to the Ring of Region, of course. He's healing up quite fast, so a backstab might not be worth it. Our player's forces are under attack. He was really he was really trying to block the Blade Master here. Now he's cancelling the healing, as I said, with the Quill Beast. I like that. Oh, oh, backstab. Wasn't the healing enough? There's no additional Windwalk, so it should be fine. And there's Moondoos now. He's on his way to Master Training. How does it look for focus? Creeping, heavily crippled. Only level one and a half. He gets the first he uh, round of heal, scroll, and invul, though. And getting ready for 50 food. He's a little late with that burrow, I guess. He can produce another raider at the moment. He doesn't even have a single raider. Ah, there's one. And Ensnare is ready as well. Five talents moving out now. No Tinker yet. And it's red spot time for both the players. Vamp Aura can be dropped here. And Brilliance Aura can be dropped here. Those are the best items that they can find. First shockwave of the game coming from the overall Lord. Uh, not quite getting it, but he will get it in a bit. Well, we have Rune Bracers, not that great, and the Mask, which is also not that great. I mean, for the Demon Hunter, it's nice for more HP and more damage. Nice cycle on that Raider. Of course, it takes forever for him to drop down to the ground again, but that's a guaranteed kill and level 3 and more nice items for the Demon. This guy could be a beast. He's already plus 13. He will get the Mask for plus 17, and he has the Orb ready. This raid of Falls, of course. Focus in the meantime, not luring out this Lord, so taking a little more damage than necessary. Oh, is it? Warsong Battle Drums. Oh yeah, baby. 10% damage on the entire army. Doesn't matter if melee or range or hero or whatnot. So this Blade Master looks fine as well. He keeps the Rune Braces and he's expanding, actually. He had a good early game, but I'm not sure if he can fight this yet. 50 supply for Lawlight, joining the Orc base with the Tinker edition now. And this, he's not going for 60 supply, which is uh, like the 10 supply advantage that you want to have in the first fight. And this is going to be hard for focus. I mean, Lawlight has to portal out at some point, but the Burrows are so vulnerable to magic damage that both of them fall. And thanks to 
Oh my god, this pocket factory opens up a perfect position for Law Light. I wonder how long he can stay there. I mean, there's still two burrows. Accessible. And Focus is stuck on what is it? 49 supply now. Two talents are dead, but can be easily reproduced. So the shop is gone. This position is so nice, man. Now it's gone, thanks to uh, the shop being gone. But I think it can just move here. It's actually going for the lodge. With the clockworks, this is so much damage that he could actually get it. That would be a game-breaking thing. Focus has to engage. But look at the fight, man. The talents are still in a good position. The TC doesn't throw a shockwave. He is level 2 now, but has no mana for that. They're perfectly lined up for it, but no. And everything drops low thanks to Spirit Link. This looks very, very good for Lawlight. Again. Oh, the Demon Hunter now getting a few heavy crits. There's nothing to save him. Oh, no. The TP was on the Beastmaster. Can he get the revenge kill? It looks like it. Blade Master falls as well. TP out from the Beastmaster. Now both first heroes down. But, man, this base in shambles. Only 35 supply left for focus. And that Demon Hunter kill was absolutely worth it. He still has two heroes on the field. One of them is level 3. Gets the Blade Master back. The Expo is up, but the Engine of War is ready. And guess what? There's an expansion coming here. Law Light at the moment, pulling all the right strings. Of course, this Engine of War will, will now be cancelled. I wonder if it would have been better to move the Talents over here to be able to attack the Burrows as well. But he can just go again, I guess. Since he still has 43 supply, he just needs a Town Portal, which he doesn't have at the moment. Then he should be fine. He's not reviving the Demon Hunter from the altar, so he's getting him back from the tavern, which is a little more expensive, but faster. He has no mana, but he's been staffed back and gets some moon juice, and then he will be fine for one or two mana burns. Expos are up, though. And Lolai just wants the next fight. There is two shockwaves on this TC, no TP. Blade Master has an invul in the heal scroll. Cyclones are coming. Demon Hunter not back in this fight. Nice first uh, shockwave. He could surround the TC. Is it worth it? Demon Hunter comes back, so it looks like it is. Heroes disabled on all sides with Cyclone and End Snare alike. And the TC is still stuck. The TC is still stuck. He's stu trying to fight out. So is it gonna be a trade again? Demon Hunter versus Blade Master. Uh, versus TC. He uses the invul on the Blade Master. The TC is about to die here. Not too many talents dying. Now the Raiders are approaching. They are, of course, in a great position to be killed. But this TC is so nice. And now the staff comes in to save the Demon Hunter. Does he have to use a town portal again? Can he reach even? Or does he have to leave this? I mean, everything is dropping low for focus. Raider down. Two walkers. Super hurt. Lasted from the Quill Beast. Is doing a phenomenal job. On adding those uh, little toothpicks to the walkers. And does Focus know about this expansion? I don't think so. I think he feels okay because he got th this expansion up, which is running now. But you see, it's the same for the elf. TC got back at the tavern once again. Big investment. It's a, sev a second tavern purchase for Focus. So this expansion has not paid off at all. TC with the TP now. Peons are evacuating already. But it's gonna be a counter uh, counter push. Does he have a town portal now? He's sending the Tinker back to get one. And that is a lot of time for focus. Three raiders. Heal scroll being used as well. And so now it's the elf who supplies stuck, but if he gets the expansion in time, no he doesn't. Then <laughs> it would be worth it. Trades the TP. Two Moonwells and a Walker for it. That was okay. But yeah, the loss of Moonwells. It's also very, very costly to reproduce them. 180 gold. But with the expansion is back, should be fine. Expo down at 50%. This one down to one quarter. And those Boros will not last long as well. Well, I is stuck at 47 supplies, so that's not that bad. Focus sees, alright. 
Red Spot is already gone on his 45 supply. He has to lame now. He can't take an open fight ever. He has no gold for the heal scrolls or invuls. And clarity is a mana potion that he needs. His army composition isn't the greatest. And here comes Lolite again. Pocket Factory should be able to kill this. Here they come. Additional experience from the peons. And what can Focus do now? Moonwells. Re-erected far in the back. Raiders are a little too late dealing with the Engine of War now, which is of course not a big pickup compared to this one. Expo down, TP home. Is there a counter TP? No, there's not. Very aggressive. Where are the Cyclones? Not getting it, Windwalk in time. Law Light on fire recently, since he qualified for Masters Coliseum. Only good results as far as I remember. And what an upset it was when he defeated Lin twice in the Korean Masters Coliseum qualifier. Nobody really expected that. Loliot is oftentimes a guy who jokes a lot to entertain his stream. And the performance suffers a little. But man, when he focuses really 100%, then he's by far, like, without any discussion, one of the best night in the world. He suffered a bit through the indirect nerf on the Warden, thanks to the Rise of the Alchemist, but he seems to be adjusted well to this. And finally we see the first consumables. Like, what did he get? Big invul, nice, really nice. Very rare to see this, that both players are going for the permanent items on this map. Yeah, Chet is saying this right. No pillage on Focus's side could have helped him a little. But this is oftentimes the case for orcs. So let's compare the inventories. TP, heal scroll, and the big healing. And an invul. On the other side, heal scroll, invul, and the big invul. Light is expanding here. Right next to the orc base. This is of course a little ballsy, but yeah, this is presented to him on a silver platter. He even has the hawk level 2 now, even more magic damage. Once again he's supply stuck. Uh, can he move into this position? That would be the best. There would be no chance. Oh, nice dodge on the wave. Only hitting two talents here. The lodge is down. No more walkers for focus in this game. And he's down to only two burrows, and they are accessible as well. But he doesn't want to lose too many talents. He's just getting out. He did what he wanted. So he has to reproduce three burrows to be able to produce again. And then it's only raiders and grunts. Those are the last four walkers that he has. And still, Law Lyot expansion running. I don't think he scouted that yet. <laughs> what is this? Already a little desperation. No, he needs three bonus to reproduce again because if he only builds two then he's at 49 out of 50. So he needs the fifth one to be able to go over 50. Big mana potion now. Can a high level TC bring him back? We've seen Lin doing this many, many, many times. But Lin is Lin. Six Fury Dragons now. And of course a huge supply lead. Tactically, very well played by Lawlight. Oh, but the Demon Hunter a little out of position. Of course a big tank. So what can we see now? We have a lot of Fury Dragons. The walkers can't really cast at the moment. I wonder if they are out of range. Most of them are. So the talents are on open ground and that's never what you want. Demon Hunter is suffering hard. TC still has the big mana potion but he wants the walkers to be gone. He only wants the walkers to be gone. He picks up the first one. He picks up the second one. Shockwave was nice though. Four hit with that level two. But yeah, the mana potion is gone. There's only one wall remaining. Where's the mana burn waiting for it? 
He's suffering way too hard. He is suffering way too hard. And there's no spirit link, no dispel anymore. GG by Focus and Law Lion kind of dominantly winning map number one on Turtle Rock, which is a pretty good orc map. So, pretty surprising. Well, on the other hand, Law Lion is in such, such a great shape and Focus is suffering loss after loss at the moment. So maybe it's not the biggest surprise, but really, really well executed by Law Lion. I'm pretty impressed. Like this positioning, when he went into the orc base to position himself behind the shop and put a pocket factory before that, he was unreachable. And there were, of course, two, uh, two burrows and the lodge. And yeah, they were gone in no time. And the expo was up, unscouted, unpunished. That was hard. That was really, really a rough game for focus here. Did you see this Chinese meme on the new uh, page that we have? Like, this page, I featured it on Twitter already. It's called uh, Gornlan Harbor. It translates content from Chinese websites. It's not the best English of all time, but you can certainly understand it. And they had a little meme article about Focus and Lin. So... I can show it to you here, I guess. Just have to adjust a little. And crop and stuff. It's a little block by... I don't know if they are Chinese people or from some other country in Southeast Asia. They're doing a really good job. Like, multiple articles a week. So this is the article they posted today about Lin and Focus. Because they meet in finals and then Lin just crushes him all the time. So Lin is starting to count. One, two, three, four, five. Lin, what are you doing? Six, seven. Hello? Eight. Look at him, he's counting to himself. Look so stupid. I'm counting the results that me against to focus on WGL and AWL. It's 8-0. <laughs> Chinese are so savage. It's nice that they have these little memes. Check it out on gornlanharbor.blogspot.com. But yeah, Focus really no idea what to do in Orkmara against Lin, but who really has? Yeah, pretty cool to see Law Light in such a great shape. Can't wait for Masters Coliseum on August 24 and August 26, when it's about $28,000. Just two weeks away, boys! And girls. It always baffles me how Talents, a unit that deals less damage to and takes more from raiders can beat raiders but it's all in the players and the micro focus picked off nothing with ensnare and you have to calculate in fury fire like fury fire doesn't do a lot of damage but you know the minus armor gives you more damage when you attack and the demon hunter is a good damage dealer and the quill beast are good damage dealers and the Pocket Factory Clockworks as well. And there's a lot of damage in this Night Elf army, just not coming from Talons. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks man. You're going solo today? Yeah, Remo's not feeling too well, so I'm covering since he did the same for me last week. Now... It's me flying solo. Maybe, I don't know if Starshape maybe wants to join later or whoever for Rust Brain. That would be easier. It is about the Spirit Link. You damage Grunts and Walker... Uh, you damage Grunts and Walkers with Talents and Raiders take the big damage. That is correct. That is also a good point. So it's a mix of all, I guess. This is a really cool strategy, by the way, that takes a lot of brain to figure out. It's not like, oh, I just look at the attack types and the defense types. 
But yeah, Moon Man. No, not Moon. Magic Yank, but then Moon perfected it. Here we go, map number two. It's Focus Law Light. If Law Light wins this map as well, which is Slash Refuge, then he gets three points. Would be a big statement. I don't think too many people will get three points against Focus. And of course, a great start for Law Light before he faces TH later today. He's hung over again. Oh no. Different part of feeling sad, bad. India, how's it going? Feeling good? I like the beard. Thanks a lot. It, it, it was a suggestion from chat to grow out the beard a little. And of course, I always listen to chat. And uh, yeah, so you guys helped me out. Thanks a lot for that. Thanks for keeping the competitive Warcraft 3 scene alive for us here in the West. Much appreciated. Thank you, Duke of Compton. It's really a pleasure that it's all growing so quickly and so steadily. I mean, the tournaments we get from China now are insane. We do have this uh, steady Super League or, or W League with Round Robin. We get a few more tournaments. We have WGL, we have Masters Coliseum, we get a new bi-weekly cup from China. We have Rust Brain in Europe. It's like a really cool environment and lots and lots to cast. A uh, new and remote couple. No, oh, no. He's moving out a lot of Wisps here for more vision on the map. Apart from that, Blade Master Demon Hunter. No surprises here, also no crazy creep routes from Law Light. Romans, you can call it, that's for sure. Is there any tournaments in America? We will have two WGL qualifiers for America, but mostly American players play in European tournaments. So, tier 2 tech for focus, who got his first circlet again. Wait, did he buy it or did he get it here? I didn't pay attention, unfortunately. Ah, you will buy the second one here then, right? Wait, he's not going for the mage, is he? No, the player's forces are under attack. So, two circlets, good for trades. We have one ring of protection for the demon hunter, which is not nice, really. Is there something like a World Cup coming? Teams from different countries. Not really, but... We have WGL. We have uh, China, Korea, Europe and America represented there. With 24 players. Which is basically the Warcraft World Championship. We are on the qualifier stage. The main event will be in November. But yet, yeah, WGL is the Warcraft World, World Cup. A player's forces are under attack. If you're asking for a team event with country teams, then I don't think so. So again, Focus is trying to harass. He did that well, like... Let me, let me remind you that Lawlight lost three archers and a Moonwell in the early of the last game. So that was quite bad. Double circlet for Lawlight. Not the best start. But this time there's no dust on Focus. So it's easier to hide and save the archers. He shouldn't lose this Moonwell though. He can't cancel it. All the resources would be gone. Players' forces are under attack. Maybe China versus Korea coming. Ooh, where did you get that info? Can't confirm anything, but interesting suggestion. Let me put it that way. So very late shop. Blade Master didn't take too much damage. So I'm kind of surprised he didn't focus it more. T2 tech only 60% done here. Focus so the fast, of course, skipping the shop attack. enables a fast attack. Can he trap him there somehow? Oh no, there was enough mana. I thought there's not enough mana for Windwalk, thanks to the uh, whistle, but I think. Fucked up with the detonate. So again, Law Light not going for aggressive tier two. A player's forces are three is coming up. He could, yeah, he should build the lodge. There it is.
probably because of the recent Bloodcraft 2 GSL versus the World event. Wasn't that awesome? Wasn't that awesome? This freaking Finn who beat all the Koreans. Holy shit, that was great to watch. Esports history, man. Guy from Finland winning that tournament. It was just a pleasure. That would be cool to have, like China versus the world. Oh boy, that would be cool. <laughs> A player's forces are under attack. So Beastmaster joined and actually Lolite is going to the base. He's too late to cancel anything, but maybe just this burrow. I know, he turns around. He has him almost in his surround, but I don't think he had the damage to kill the TC early. It's still nighttime, so he could go into Shadow Melt. Ah, there's Dust now, so that's useless. So, first blood for focus, but that didn't help him too much in the early uh, of game one. A player's forces are under attack. How long until we start seeing tourneys in 1.3? Uh, around three and a half hours, maybe? Rust Brain Cup, which we will cover today, uh, later today, will be on 1.3. So very slow early so far. Both heroes on, on level 1, which is never a good thing for Orr. He was very busy in Lawliot's base, but didn't accomplish too much. So I think it's smooth sailing for Lawliot so far. I mean, his Demon Hunter is on a good level. His tech is in good progress. There's not too much. Once again, one Raider here for focus, for scouting. He's a little late to the party, but might take out that little Talon here. And another Arch. That was certainly worth it. And he gets this Talon most likely as well as the Engine of War. Can he block? He should block. He's not blocking, but the end snap. Second. And so it is. Okay, that was a nice little ambush. Getting double level two from these kills. Walkers with dispel upgrade before master is finished. So that's nice. A town is under siege. He's not killing the trappers. He wants to creep jack here. Oh, this could be horrible. Is there a town portal? No. Oh, yeah. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. He got the heal wards. Mm, only one talon lost. But big experience now for focus. He won't be punished for that, I guess. Can't really storm the high ground with this position. So this. Lolai licking his wounds. Waiting for master training to be finished. 49 supplies still, no burrow in production. A Focus waiting a attack. long time then before going into upkeep. Ooh, Scroll the beast can be really good. I mean, there are a lot of wisps across the map. But if Focus finds the time to use that item without any wisp nearby, that's 25% damage on the entire army. Extra damage. A town is under hey Todd, nice to see you mate. So Tinker third, 43 supply, he closes the gap, but now the burrow comes. No expansion this time, his last refuge is a little... Smaller than Turtle Rock and easier to scout. And it was punished on Turtle Rock already. So why go for it again? He didn't accomplish to get this to finish his level 3. There's also no staff on the Night Elf, the no Invul. This looks good for focus, I feel. Two heal scrolls already, one Invul, and the Scroll of the Beast. 
Not too bad. Focus banking on 600 gold to jump right into upkeep. Could be red spot time already, right? He's moving up the peons. Is he really that greedy again? Or is it just to tank some damage? He doesn't have a war mill, so it's not possible to build a tower there. Could build a burrow. This is giving Lawlight some time, I guess, to get the necessary experience. Level 3 TC is so important. Peon scouting all the time. Blade Master scouting this, but there's the Hawk, of course. So he sees him. He can cyclone him if he wants to. The Orc is moving over. Ooh, big shockwave. And still no heal scroll. Blade Master Cyclone now. Once again, the helmet. Captain America helm. Heal ward, of course, in a fantastic position now. Level 2 for the Tinker. Shockwave doesn't hit too much. Nice dodge. And now he's blocking the entrance. This could be a good fight for Law Lion, potentially. Is there still no TP? There's still no TP for Law Lion. He has to win or he's dying. What a shockwave! Oh my god! Like eight talents hit. That was brutal. Next heal ward is helping, of course, a lot. But how to save this demon hunter? There's not endless cyclone. There's a lot, but not endless cyclone. He's taking care of the raiders, though. It's only 46 supply left. Night Elf with the, ex uh, with the advantage, but the Demon Hunter is falling. No chance to rescue him. If you're too greedy to get a staff, man, that's what you get. But he turns the tides and he is not killing the TC. What an evacuation of the second hero and getting the Demon Hunter later on. And now it's cleanup time with the Demon Hunter gone and still so many raiders. The Nets will fly close to level 4. Man, this TC safe. Two four. heal scrolls, one in wolf from the shop. Level four on the blade. And yeah, this is hard to watch now. Lolliot almost turned it around there, but not anymore. Level three for the Beastmaster. He's getting a few units, but he should be able to kill this one. Oh, he's actually saving him. Wait, there's no mana. He can't get out! He has nothing! The heal scrolls, can they help? He has to close this around fast. He does. Oh my god, but he lacks damage. He has to open this up. The Beastmaster can't block. Has to use the Cyclone again. Focus re-engaging. Might lose two or three units here. But on what cost? TC level four. Two units dead. What a game. More Raiders are streaming in with more nets. Where is the Demon Hunter? He's not getting him back from the tavern. He's reviving him in the altar. Oh boy. That was so close. TC about to die. Beastmaster about to die. Blademaster surrounded and about to die. He's going for the heroes again, but everything's helping. Can't do too much with his backstab. He still has one heal scroll. He used the one invo potion. Still on the Blademaster if he wants to go for a hero kill. This is not looking like the Demon Hunter is coming back. The Raiders are changing the focus with the end snare. Repair is coming in. Beastmaster in trouble. The Shockwave cancels the ult. gets the Beastmaster. Finishes him off with a critical strike. And that must be it. Two heroes dead. No Alter anymore. Lolliot on 800 gold though. Why didn't he spend it? And now he's defending with double pocket factory and the tinker alone. At least he has the demon hunter back. Should uh oh the raider finds him. Can he reach for an end snare? Oh, barely walking out of range. But he keeps the vision. He wants to block. Okay, now he's safe. And again, you don't want to fight this army against Moonwells, no, no. Nice detonate to burn the mana. This could be time for an expansion now. 50 supply, 600 gold. Very good hero levels with four and a half each. And you have to wait until the Beastmaster is back. There's still no altar. Has to get the hero back from the tavern. 3-3 three, three here on the Night Upside. A lot of talents though. But look at the blue lines. There's not much mana remaining.
across the entire game. A player's Item superiority on Focus's side. Always got the heal scrolls, always got the invuls. There's the expansion. Kind of a no-brainer. Scouted immediately though. One more talent and the Beastmaster. Then he's at 50 supplies. Still no staff. There we go. Oh, there is the staff. But no heal scrolls. And Focus was smart to pick the items from this shop. So La Light is kind of forced to go to this shop to get items. And that takes time, and that time goes into the expansion. Not too much left to creep. Just the little orange spots here and here. I get a level up from this. 3-3-3 three, three, three heroes. This is kind of when it gets dangerous. Players forces are under attack. For the orc, but on the other side, we're closing in on 5 Good army mix, I feel. Not too many, like there's no grunt anymore. Good amount of raiders, good amount of walkers with mana. But of course, this expo will be cancelled. Interesting game. La Light is not broken. How much gold? 2,500 gold. The longer the game goes, of course, the better it is for the Night Elf. Because he can expand with his natural building. Here we go though, this position should be great, but not if you fight a big shockwave. That was the last one though. But again, there's no consumables on Law Lights except this potion. There's still one, two heal scrolls for focus, but he has to retreat. TC low and another raider low. Thanks to Fury Fire, he knows exactly where the army is going now. I need to dispel on that. Does it? Is it item time now? At least one heal scroll. At least one invul. He gets both. 58 supply versus 50. Focus is not allowed to lose this map. You don't want to end up like Foggy with the zero attack. points on the bottom of the grid. Thanks for the subs, DVO. Two month resub already. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy it. Ark of Reincarnation. Not the biggest consumable there as well. Level 4 on the Demon Hunter. So tanky. Plus 5.8 armor and evasion. Are under attack. Good damage as well. Focus is still hurt. Okay, those are easy pickups. And he needs to expand sooner than later. 1,500 gold remaining. He's not tier 3. He can't go for a tiny Great Hall. He loses the bad rider for free. And now he's fighting into Focus's base. With a 10 supply disadvantage. But the Fury Dragons are in a tremendous position. The Shockwave wasn't too good. The mana is gone. There is a mana potion now. He is level 5. So the shockwaves will hit super duper hard. Can he burn it immediately? That's the question. But at the moment, the demon hunter, where's the staff? Oh, invoke potion used to keep the focus on the TC. The raiders are fighting the talent. The position is not that great. And he's standing right next to his shop. Heal scroll being popped. The demon hunter now and snared. Uh oh, this is not looking too good for him. Cycling on the both heroes. Wow, staff out. The shockwave I thought would kill him, but no. And snare on the Tinker now. He wants to get rid of it, but more and more cycling against the heroes, disabling them. But it's not enough, Lolliot. Not patient enough. I have no idea why he's pushing at this point of the game. And he's getting a triple kill from this. Invo Potion delays the unavoidable only for a few seconds as the Raiders are following can throw the next nets. Ah, he's happy with this, though. Getting two talents. I have no idea why he's pushing. Can someone tell me? I mean, wouldn't it be smarter to just wait, expand, like, move over your tree? This takes time, and there's a big push coming, but fight in an orc base when there's a, po when there's a shot? 
I don't know. Also, not the best. Uh, again, focus. Getting the items here. This should be the nail in the coffin for map 2. Inevitable. Oh, thanks. Nice shockwave again. This level 3 shockwave, man, makes such a big difference. Stays away from the demon hunter now. <laughs> Even going to the high ground. Maybe the final fight of the second game. He's killing the Beastmaster immediately. No chance. But focus is down to 40 supply. That's not too much, actually. No way. No freaking way he's losing the Blade Master. He can't fight out. He can not fight out level 5 demon. This could be the turnaround, man. Focus. What are you doing? Unbelievable. He's killing two heroes, turns the game around, and wins the series 2-0. This game was over. So over. And then he throws it away. I cannot believe this. What a crazy game this was. This was like over three times. Gotta stay concentrated until the end, huh? Otherwise there's a cyclone and a surround. And then your heroes die. Focus has a great throwing arm, oh yeah. Wow. Lawlight with a big exclamation mark towards his opponents in this uh, league. Three points for him already. Later today, he's facing TH, who will play next against WFZ, Human vs. Undead. But before we go into a break, we have a two, uh, two new subs here. Thank you, Marv TV, for the five month resub, and April Skillburn for 20 months already. Thanks so much. 20 month hype. Alright, that was a good start, everybody. Now the world champion is stepping into the ring and fighting against one of the best undeads in the world. TH vs. WFZ coming up. Stay